The Life and Sad Ending of Gina Davis Gina Davis was born Virginia Elizabeth Gina Davis on the 21st of January in 1956 in Wareheim in Massachusetts. Her father, William F. Davis, was a civil engineer, and her mother, Lucille, used to work as a teacher's assistant. She enrolled at Wareheim High School, where she attended a school in Sandviken in Sweden as an exchange student and her made her fluent in the Swedish language. Her tall height made her feel out of the group as she had low self-esteem during her school days. She initially enrolled at the New England College in New Hampshire, but in her year moved to Boston University and finally graduated from there in drama. After her graduation, she moved to New York to start her career in acting. Gina Davis is known to have many difficulties in romance. The girl has up to four times been married. She got married for the first time to Richard Emolo on the 25th of March in 1982, and the couple got divorced on the 26th of February in 1983. Richard Emolo was a restaurant manager. Her second marriage was to actor Jeff Goldblum, with whom she did three movies. The couple married on the 1st of November of 87, and on the 17th of October in 1990, they divorced. Director Rennie Harlan was Gina Davis's third husband, with whom she got married on the 18th of September in 1993. The couple got divorced five years later after their marriage on the 17th of October in 1998. Davis acted in The Long Kiss Goodbye and Cutthroat Island, both of which were directed by Rennie Harlan. She gave birth to a daughter, Alze Kazar, on the 10th of April in 2002, while her two twin sons, Caius William Jarai and Kian William Jarai, were born on the 6th of May in 2004. Gina Davis is married to her fourth husband, Reza Jarai, who is a plastic surgeon and has an Iranian-American family background. She got married to Reza on the 1st of September in 2001, and the couple has three children from the marriage. In her initial days in New York, she worked as a waitress and sales clerk and took up work for Ann Taylor and worked as a widow mannequin and got a modeling contract with Zoli Modeling Agency through it. Her acting career took a slow start in 1982 with her debut movie Tootsie, where she played a small role. She co-starred with Dustin Hoffman in the comedy. In the same year, she appeared in the television comedy Buffalo Bill. Her acting career got a big break when she appeared in the famous sitcom Family Ties. She co-starred with Michael J. Fox, and the series was telecast from 1982 to 1989. She co-starred with Tom Hanks, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell in the movie A League of Their Own, which got critical acclaim. She moved on to action movies and acted in movies such as Cutthroat Island and The Lion Kiss Goodnight. She played the role of Eleanor in the movie, Stuart Little, and in the sequels in 2000 and 2005. She also appeared in a sitcom show on TV, The Gina Davis Show, which got telecast for a very short period. She played the role of the first female president of the United States in a popular TV series, Commander-in-Chief, for which she got nominated many awards. She also played the role of Dr. Nicole Herman in the TV series, Grey's Anatomy. She got a nomination for her television series, Commander-in-Chief. For the movie, Thelma Louise, she received nominations for Los Angeles Film Critics Association Awards, Academy Awards, BAFTA Awards, Golden Globe Awards, and the MTV Movie Awards. She won Best Supporting Actress Academy Award in 1989 for her role in the movie The Accidental Tourist. In 1991, she was given the Boston Society of Film Critics Awards for Best Actress category in her role in the movie Thelma and Louise. For the same movie, she shared the Best Actress Award with Susan Saradon, awarded by the National Board of Review in 1991. She got a nomination for Golden Globe Awards for the movie Herself in 1992, A League of Their Own in 1993, Speechless in 1995, The Lion Kiss Goodnight in 1997. She was ranked number 61 in a list of top 100 movie stars of all time by Empire Magazine of the UK in October of 97. The same magazine ranked her at number 31 on the list of 100 sexiest stars in the film industry. 
In 1999, this Oscar award-winning actress was one of 300 women sportspersons who contested in the semifinalist berth of the U.S. Olympic archery team to participate in the Sydney Olympics in 2000, but could not qualify for the team. She, however, participated in the Sydney International Golden Arrow competition. She won the Golden Globe category for Best Actress Television Series Drama in her role in Commander-in-Chief in 2006. In 2015, she started an annual film festival that would have movies that basically have females and minorities as cast and crew. Each of us born into the world has gone through the days of having to find our true self. It is the manifestation of the creator. We have tried to realize that this life is constantly moving and means that you have to balance material and emotion. All of us have a secret of our own. Namely, a big and crazy dream that only you or little things that need to be happy and others don't expect when it comes to it. Through this article, I want to express my opinion. Please boldly face everything in this life, because you simply have only one time to live. I wish you lots of health.